What up, what up, what up, what up, guys? It's your girl, Rara Butterfly, here today, tonight, to do your daily message. Whenever you catch a video, this reading is for the lovely, lovely Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, North, No, Venus. Anywhere in your chart, if the message does resonate for you guys, you know what to do. Hit the like, comment, subscribe button. If you uh, want a personal, use the description box down below. And Big Bird, not the little one, to the Elite Collective. How you guys doing? General Collective, you're welcome to. Cross watches, hello. You're welcomed as well. Hello, 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 everybody. All my rah rah riders, what's up? What's popping? Thank you guys for your support, for your love, for the, the donations, the purchases. Okay, I love all of you guys. It's most appreciated. Yes. <laughs> yes. So let's go ahead and jump right on into it. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I did have a, a, a couple of channel messages that I wanted to run through before we actually begin, you know, the reading. Okay, I ain't going to yell at y'all and scream at y'all and preach to y'all today. Okay, y'all know I'm not no preacher, no pastor. I'm imperfect in my ways, but a firm believer in God and I got to do my job. So, hey, it is what it is. It's all love to everybody. Okay. Either you either with it or you you or you're not. Okay, we ain't gonna explain it for those who are lost. Anywho, ver, um, the messages that I was picking up first and foremost, um, my condolences to anybody here that maybe has to pull the plug. But I'm getting more so something about a pet here. Okay, but you know if you have to pull the plug on a plug on the on a loved one, my condolences. Or you're getting some type of news, maybe that someone has passed away. But I'm also getting this is more so personal for someone, okay? Somebody's pet could have passed away. And I know a lot of people don't look at pets like, you know, like um, humans. But some people have very, very deep connections with their pets. Some people are really pet lovers, okay? And it hits just the same. So I feel like, Virgo, if you're going through that or experiencing that and somebody is like, oh, it's just a pet, it's just this. I feel like some... You know, people may not understand the bond or the connection that's formed between you and your pet. So you may go through a process of grieving. Like I said, my condolences to wh whoever that is. Because, you know, I have my dog, Bray Bray Brady. He's been with me for three years, okay? <laughs> get down. That was not your cue, boo-boo. Get, Brady, get down now. Look at you. Get. Thank you. Good boy. Go sit down. Go sit. Thank you. Sorry about that. But um, and like I said, I love my dog. So I understand that to anybody that's going through that. Anybody who don't get that and receive that, um, oh, well, you ain't got to explain it to them. You may need a couple of days off of work because your pet died, okay? But I really am picking up. Somebody could have like a German Shepherd or a Golden Retriever, like a really big dog here. It could be also like a Cane Corso um, that you may have to put down, put to sleep here. Okay, somebody has a really big dog. I'm getting like over 75 pounds or 80 pounds or more, okay? But I'm also getting like a service dog here, Virgo. Somebody, this dog could have really, you know, been your ride or die or this was your service dog. You know, they kept you, kept you grounded, okay? Maybe this is even an actual person, but you know, that's my dog. Okay, Virgo, it's the type of energy that I'm picking up. My voice is starting to shake. So I feel like, Virgo, this is very much so a touchy situation for some dog. That's my dog for sure. Me and my dog, we hit them two in a row, okay? I'm also getting, like, something about a service animal when it comes to, like, you know, um, uh, um, almost like a war veteran or a dog that's, you know, like a canine in the canine unit or something like that. Okay, so somebody could be like a really buffy or macho man, but they could have a pet that they really love and they're losing. Okay, somebody may not understand it, but somebody's actually really grieving about their animal passing away here, Virgo. Even if it's a cat, if it's a mouse, it don't matter, a snake, I don't know, a fish, somebody is definitely grieving over that situation. Now, I'm starting to click back into kind of more of somebody's energy where it's coming more so of a feminine energy where you kind of like, are you serious? Like, you had dates or we had something planned. We had something scheduled here. Like, what is going on? Okay, Virg. So, um, back to life. Back to reality. Yes. Okay, Virg. 
So I'm also getting another side of this story here, which that was a part of the energy that I was channeling earlier. I was hearing two different songs for you guys. Virgo, Heartbreak by Mariah Carey and Jay-Z. Heartbreaker, you got the best of me, but I just keep on running back excessively. Oh, why did you have to get the best of me? I should have known right from the start. You were gonna break my heart. Yeah, and then y'all know what Jay-Z come in and say, okay? But I also was hearing another song by Jay Howe, Deserve. And I know a lot of you guys probably may not even have heard of that artist before. But if you have, go ahead and hit the like button for my girl and for Jay Howe. Okay, for your girl and for Jay Howe. Excuse me, okay? But um, I have those, those lyrics pulled up for you guys. But I'm also inclined to do uh, Mariah Carey, Jay-Z, okay? Somebody could be, you know, in a vibe right now where you listening to like a lot of 90s music or you listening to music that you used to listen to, you know, back in the day. For some of you guys, that's a little bit younger, a little bit older. Okay. But I feel like somebody listening to like Mary J. Blige, they listening to G Unit, Jay Z, they listening to Erica Badu, Jill Scott, Anita Baker. Okay. Like somebody going down memory lane. I'm also getting Usher. Okay. I hear that song, You Remind Me of a Girl That I Once Knew, but I feel like that's not even the song. I'm hearing the other Usher song. What is that song when he talk about, um... Girl, you make me want to leave the one I'm with and start a new relationship with you. This is what you do. You make me, you make me. So yeah, Bert, I don't know. There could be an energy here. Let's get into these lyrics because you could be with somebody that is a heartbreaker. Maybe it's, it's known to everybody else, but not to you. I feel like somebody does not want to break Virgo's heart. But at the end of the day here, Virg, the energy is coming in, okay? I feel like things start off wonderful, things are moving very quickly, but all of a sudden the brakes gonna be pumped on you or on somebody else. I also feel like somebody was trying to move very quickly with you, okay, and, and then this other energy who sees what's going on, I feel like they come they come in vouching like, damn, you shouldn't be treating Virgo like that, or damn, you know, that Virgo worked hard to get to that position, like, why you doing that, or damn, like, we see what's going on, we ain't, we ain't, we ain't really fucking with that, you know, so I feel like somebody is gonna do a complete not 360 but hit that 180 on you bird now they switching it up now they trying to slow it down now they don't want to play with your heart now they don't want to play with your emotions play with your mind or i feel like bird they were never intended to but maybe they they never they don't want some type of truth to get to you it could be something that they're hiding it could be the fact that they're madly deeply in love with you or it could be the fact that they you know they they falling for you but they got something else going on or it was it started off on on something that uh i'm hearing forbidden okay or taboo I'm also getting that somebody's name could be like Dwayne, okay, or Demarius or Demetrius, okay, somebody could be from Michigan. I'm also getting that, I think BMF or something like that, that's on TV, that could be, I think that's their actual names. So somebody could be watching this TV show or maybe you dating, you know, somebody like this in real life, Virgo, of course. Somebody's name could also start with a letter J here. I'm also getting something about a Gemini. Somebody's North Node could be in Gemini. Or Scorpio. Sagittarius. I'm also getting something about somebody's seventh house. It could be in Gemini, Sagittarius. I'm getting somebody's sun sign. Could also be Taurus here, Virgo. I'm also hearing Master Manipulator. 
Somebody could be falling for words, falling for traps, or Virgo, you know, somebody could have been sent to you for you to fall for words, fall for traps. But I feel like Virgo, like one day you just, it's like you just wake up out of it simultaneously. Like you have this epiphany here, Virg. Okay, I feel like you was wrapped up in somebody's words or somebody got wrapped up in your words, okay? Because the energy definitely could be vice versa. But this is just what I'm picking up on. Somebody's last name could also be Martinez. Or Mordra, Moda, or I'm hearing something like Modem or Modera, something like this, okay? This could be also some type of cream, some type of apartment unit or something like that. Uh, housing name. Like somebody could live in something called Moda, M-O-O-D-A or M-O-D-A or something like that. I'm also hearing Cambridge. But I'm getting a Virgo, despite whatever this is, because I'm really tapping in very strongly to a masculine, but I'm also seeing the side of this feminine here, okay? Where this feminine seems to be, it's like you on point, you on guard with it, but you actually moving with it. Like you're not going to stop, you're going you gonna, to you gonna let it go, you're going to see what it is, but you can sense something, it's almost like a state of trouble or... Is this paranoia? This is almost like a test, or this is something you need to go through so you can grow through, right? Um, for others of you guys, I feel like I'm also hearing for both of these parties here, it's almost like this, it's it's almost like blind faith here, okay? Walking by faith, not by sight, okay, bird. But this masculine energy, this person is really trying to, I wouldn't say hide something, okay. Um, I feel more so about it. It's like a mask something here kind of cover something up or sweep something under the rug or um, I don't know. It has a lot to do with somebody's feelings here Virgo. Okay, so I really want I'm gonna go ahead and tap out into this read uh, energy so I can go ahead and tap in somebody's name could be like Jason. Okay, or Jeremy Jenny I'm also hearing Jemiah or Jamisha Jerica Jade, Jada, Jackson. I'm also getting something about Jupiter in, in somebody's 10th house. That's what takes me into that energy of this very deep connection being formed here, Virgo. Okay, somebody needs to make up their mind. It could be both energies here. Okay, somebody needs to make up their mind Are they gonna tr if they're going to be able to trust, if they're going to be able to love, if they're going to be able to put everything, you know, put their pride to the side and really deep dive deep into this energy versus you have this other person that's kind of like, shit, I'm ready to jump in, but you got me scared. Like, both of you guys are afraid of, like, if I do it, then what's going to be the consequence? What's going to be the, the outcome? So I feel like there's two energies here that's running in pretty much head first into a situation it's not about beating somebody to the race it's not about a competition it's kind of like just two bulls that's just like ram going in going at it both of you guys can maybe have a, a rising or a sun sign and, and taurus okay but i'm getting that taurus energy that bully energy okay virgo somebody may not know that you have taurus in your chart so they don't understand where that energy come from they keep looking at some type of other aspect or they don't have all the details of your birth time whatever this is so they really can't click in and they don't know that hidden aspect of you but i feel like you could have a taurus moon a taurus rising whatever this is and i feel like it or a taurus sun is very heavy okay but i feel like whoever this taurus sun is because you have this other aspect i feel like more so rising or moon they really can't fuck with you bird they can't that's just what it is somebody can't put the illusion or put the wool over your head each and every time they fit 
sell okay so i don't know who this is or what this is or how things are moving how things are going you could have a other energy over here that sees somebody that knows that they're a heartbreaker Virg. they like damn i really want to tell the virgo but virgo they don't have to tell you you already know okay so it's all about leaning towards your intuition or trusting yourself some of you guys could even be thinking about should i get out of this relationship should i stay in a relationship i feel like whatever you're questioning the answer is yes so if you ask should i stay in a relationship yes if you ask should i walk away from a relationship yes for those of you guys i guess that could be asking both and questioning yourself what was the first question that you asked okay go back to your first mind so i feel like virgo here somebody is going to try to show you that they really love you okay but there's also a, a part of you virgo that you have to get back to the not the who not to what but to the why why are you wanting to love me why are you showing me this why are you doing this even if it's a hate even if it's a dismiss you got to go to the why instead of the who and the what okay virgo so a lot of you guys have gotten out of this position of of, of self-blame okay now you got to get out of self-denial then when you get out of that virgo you get out of um pretty much just believe in anything and anybody but you don't want to get too hard to where you can't believe in something good you can't believe in what a person is saying so a lot of you guys you find in somebody who is melting you like butter virgo and i mean that in every single way here okay i'm really getting something about an unconditional love that's coming into your life or already in your life for some of you guys and you could be having a very very hard time trusting it virgo but whatever your heart is telling you you're not you know your heart and your mind your soul whatever you have rest about doing that's how you know when it's an aligned decision because you could sleep peacefully is what i'm being told to tell you virgo even if you have doubt even if you're uncertain your faith is gonna drive you more than your insecurity okay it should drive you more than your fear it should drive you more than your worry so i feel like virgo in this situation it don't even have to just be about love for you guys this could be work related this could be career related this could be you know your artistic creative gifts and talents whatever this is right but um at the end of the day here virgo i feel like when you can have that rest assured okay i made the right decision or i'm praying for the right things i'm asking the right things then you'll be able to start you know moving in a more peaceful way i guess that's what i'm trying to say here okay so i see you you know in a state of you know wary or a state of wonder but you need to really be in a state of is this bringing me peace does this make me happy is this person you know fulfilling the checklist they ain't got to fulfill all of it but parts of it bird and then you got to be honest with yourself if the answer is no the answer is no therefore you gotta go if the answer is yes virgo stick around and see what happens okay so it's all about trusting and believing okay because a lot of you guys this is your season and god is sending you these things the biggest blessing first of all for a lot of you guys is the communication that you have with god okay the bond that you create with jesus um the bond that you create with knowledge with spirit with every piece and thing every piece and part of you but the biggest blessing is for a lot of us is that we have another day to do it again so everything else that god does it's a miracle within itself because the blessing is having another day the blessing is being here you get what i'm saying so sometimes we take things for granted bird and you don't want to take the wrong people for granted you don't want the wrong people to take you for granted you know what i'm saying so it's an equal balance here about an equal give and take and that's what you're understanding in this relationship peace harmony how to have a relationship that doesn't come with toxicity how to have a relationship that is harmonious how to have a job that you are you know you wake up and you proud to go to you have a job that you you know it's yours whatever this is because some of you guys could be stepping out into entrepreneurship others of you guys could be stepping back into working the nine to five whatever it is is that it is that you're doing virgo make sure that it's something that fulfills your spirit and not just your pockets whoever you're dating make sure it's somebody that fulfills your mind your body your soul not just your body not just the look 
okay because people can look good together but they ain't they ain't good for each other and i feel like virgo that's what a lot of you guys are starting to learn okay what's good for you and what's not for you what's really driving you and what's the why we talked about that not too long ago but we're gonna keep it moving okay Virg, let's get into the cards for the daily message here that's what i have for you guys that's what came in you either with it or you not do not forget to hit the like button for your girl 144 could be very significant you can be you could be seeing that number a lot bird oh, that's okay. let's get with it how y'all feeling who in the building Who's in the building? Somebody could be from Romania as well. Okay. Or Ukraine. Hold on one second, you guys. Let me grab something real quick. I ain't giving y'all no sneak peek this time. I heard y'all with the little pervert comments last time. Oh, I did not do my lyric time for y'all. I really feel like, do we have to? I guess I'll do a bit, a bit, a piece of it. A bit and a piece of it. Let's see. For others of you guys, y'all can just go check the song out. It says, uh, how many times I got to fight to give my love? Baby, let's talk about it. Only a matter of time I got to give my love. Then, baby, I'm walking out because you don't deserve my love. You don't deserve my love. Saint to a sinner, yeah. Said everything was cool. We was vibing. But now I ain't feeling you. Head over heels. Thoughts to the ceiling. Because something ain't right about it. Losing my mind about it. Ooh, nah, nah, nah. Ooh, nah, nah, nah. Anything he can do, I can do better. Can't fuck with my love. Gave it my all, but wanted whatever. Guess I'm too much. Anything you wanted, I could provide. Don't you deny. Tired of the lies. Tired of giving my heart out. Tired of wasting my time. How many times I got to fight to give my love? Baby, let's talk about it. Okay. So, Virg, that could be how you feel. Like, why you always got to fight to get love? Why you always got to fight, you know, for whatever? This could also be, of course, somebody's energy around especially if it's somebody virgo that tried to give you love that tried to give you what they could provide okay they tired of the lies tired of trying don't deny so Virgo, you could be thinking about giving up you could be thinking about walking away from somebody okay now of course this could be that energy as well virgo they feel like they gonna run out of time they know you're not buying the lies even though they could be buying you things, they could be purchasing you whatever, okay? Somebody's name could be James. Or Natilda. Naisha. Okay, so let's get into it, okay? I feel like, though, Virg, let me look up one other thing for you guys. Hold on one second. I'm hearing Sagittarius or Scorpio. Okay, so I'm going to do the lyrics too for uh, this last part with Jay-Z because it seems to be very significant on this masculine energy. Okay, for go. Um, it says, heartbreaking, you got the best of me, but I just keep on coming back incessantly. Oh, why? Did you have to run your game on me? I should have known right from the start you go and break my heart. It says, she want to shop with Jay, play box with Jay. She want to pillow fight in the middle of the night. She want to... Drive my bins with five of her friends. She want to 
creep past the box spying again. She want to roll with, roll with Jay, chase skills away. She want to fight with lame chicks, blow my day. She want to inspect the rest, kick me to the curb. If she find one strand of hair longer than hers, she want to love in the jacuzzi, rub up in the movies, access to the old crib, keys to the new crib. She want to answer the phone, tattoo her arm. That's when I got to send her back to her mom. She called me heartbreaker. When we apart, it makes her want to get a piece of paper, scribble down I hate you. But you know she loved Jay because she love everything Jay say Jay does and uh heartbreaker you got the best of me. Okay, so Virgo. Somebody really could feel like they got you where they want you or this is you Virgo. You could have been, you know, <laughs> this could be old energy or this is something you you been here done that. This ain't your first time around the rodeo or Virgo, this is you. You in a situation where you know right now it's like, uh, somebody got the best of you. Get a piece of paper, scribble down I hate you. But you know you love J because I'm hearing, but you know you love B because you love everything B say B does and uh heartbreaker, you got the best of me. Oh I bird. I feel for you whoever going through the energy, okay? Who's ever going through the energy because Virgo ain't nothing wrong with it. It's nothing wrong with starting over. Okay, be proud of your start over because, you know, at least you did it. At least you tried. You're attempting it. You ain't just sitting on the side of the curb and staying in a, a stalemate situation. You ain't just dating somebody because it looked good, because it feel good, and you don't want to be by yourself. Okay, so I feel like, Virgo, you know, you taking pride in whatever this is that you're doing or what you have done. People can assume. People can, you know, speculate. People can investigate. People can expect, inspect. But at the end of the day, I feel like, Virgo, you getting a clean bill of health here. Period. You getting a you getting a, a flesh a fresh slate here, a new start. Okay? And oh well, if other people don't agree with it or other people have to say something about it. Okay? At the end of the day, Virgo, I feel like only in your wildest dreams you're getting something that people really be imagining, people really want in their life. Okay, Virgo. I feel like also you are sleeping very peacefully. You can really rest around somebody. That's how you know what the energy is. You can lay down and sleep well around somebody. You ain't got to think about something coming to get you, breaking in. Is this person going to steal from me, lie to me, do this and do that? I feel like something was trying to manipulate your energy, tap into your mind, and make you feel like you had to, you know, investigate something. You had to put your all into something. I feel like that was that little rendezvous magic that somebody was trying to do on you. It did not work, Virgo, and it's not working on your person. I feel like also, too, somebody is here to stand they ground i actually feel like virgo this love is going to be m mending a lot of relationships that you have in your life especially with old friends or women your sisters your children whoever it may be okay because you could be a mother you know if you have an older daughter maybe your daughter is not speaking to you at this time you could be 50 to 52 years old virgo your child could be 20 in their 20s okay or these are your siblings or their siblings okay your nieces your nephews whatever i feel like people are going to be very inspired by this new love or this new foundation or this step that you're taking okay it's almost like you know you being this you know either if you're, if you're the masculine you could have a very creative woman here where you just want to kind of give her that steady home that foundation you kind of know that she lives life on a limb or you know she gets into her emotions or that you know she she's you know hard to get hard to obtain or she lives in her head whatever the energy may be here right but at the same time it's like you want somebody to understand there can be love there can be hope there can be friendship that there, there are still good men there are still good women there are there there is still room for you to grow there is still room for you to have something different there is still room that was a little fly on my freaking bed i need to close that door i wish brady could be the, the one to do it fucking for me okay but anywho, there is still room for you to grow. There is still room for you to be nurtured, for you to be loved, for you to be whatever this is. Okay? Point blank, period. They know that you're an overthinker, though, Virgo. Okay? They know that you're an overthinker. Period. So at the end of the day here, the number 44 is going to be very significant. I feel like, Virgo, you need to understand that you're going to be very protected. When you walk out the house, you're protected. When you show your face, you're protected. Don't, don't let your thoughts stop you from going to A to Z. Don't let your, stops, uh, your thoughts stop you from getting to A to B. 
okay so this person that's coming in i feel like you know virgo step by step piece by piece i feel like they're waiting for you they're going to cheer you on this is like somebody that becomes your biggest fan in the right way but like as your lover okay the letter d could be very significant for some of you guys i feel like virgo somebody really wants to see you boss up or they want to see you you know with your head up they want to give you everything that you're asking for okay i'm also hearing that bird closed mouths don't get fed but I'm also getting, you know, uh, smiles and hands don't always get yeses. Okay. So I feel like, Bird, don't be afraid to tell this person what you need because I feel like they are more than willing to provide it to you. They want to give you the world. They could also be wondering here, Virgo, what it is that you really do want. You know, what's the how, how, what do you want in this relationship? Because, Virgo, maybe, you know, you could be a little bit in your head. It seems like you're all over the place. One minute, Bird, I want to be in love with you. I want to have kids. And the next minute is fuck you and fuck your friends and fuck your family. You'll never see me again. Blocked. You get what I'm saying? So, Virgo, you know, you could have somebody feeling like they're on a thin line. They don't know, but still I am here. I'm still standing, okay? And for others of you guys, on a personal level, I'm picking up still I rise. That's just what the energy is given here, okay? Virgo, you could definitely be in your 40s to your 50s here, or, you know, somebody could be, you could be dating somebody that's older than you. They could be in their 40s or 50s here, Virgo, or younger than you, however it may be, okay? But I just feel like, you know, somebody is definitely at an age where they're settled down. They don't want no drama, but they also see something in you or you see something in this in this career. You see something in this business where it's like, yeah, I got enough time. I got enough energy, but I'm also a little rusty. I'm also a little old. Let me get back to doing it type of energy. That's what I'm picking up on, Bird. Or, you know, you taking on this responsibility and you, you know, you cool with it. It's kind of like it's giving you life. It's giving you this fresh air. So go with it until until the answer is no as for now the answer is yes okay bird i can't seem to um make that up that's what i'm really picking up here things are getting better i feel like glory days all glory to god i'm really getting that for some of you guys bird okay because i feel like bird it, it hasn't been easy for you guys it's been a long time coming or it's been a long way for you to have either love like this or for you to feel, you know, just good, just to be, have peace, to be happy, to be able to go to bed and rest and not let your mind wander all over the place. Like your bills are paid. Like when you really look around, everything is good. It may not be what you want it to be, but it's perfect for, for, for what it is and what it could have been. Right, Verb? So I just feel like you have a different understanding. I feel like before your reality shifts, your mind is going to shift, okay? I feel like before this relationship goes into the next phase or before you get this partner, whatever this is, this partnership, this promotion, okay? The letter P could be significant for some of you guys, Virgo. But I feel like, you know, you're, it's going to be a, 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 a total change in the way that you think, the way that you feel to the point to where you really can feel very comfortable. It could be a Pisces here. Some of you guys could have been in your Pisces shadow side for a long time here. Or, of course, the Pisces could have been coming again you here it could have been a pisces a taurus a scorpio okay a sagittarius is here as well but so let's just keep it rocking i feel like somebody actually you know they like the way that you think they like the way that you create okay somebody wants to actually see virgo how how would you do if they put you in a different environment if they put you in a state of peace if they put you in a state of you know getting what you deserve the reward okay somebody kind of wants to see you as this star they do see you as one already they really want to protect you is what i'm getting virgo somebody sees you as like treasure i'm not even gonna lie to you It's like somebody see you as the sun. They see you as the stars and the moon. They see you as the, the whole shanana, the whole shabang bang. I feel like even if this is somebody involved in witchcraft or warlock or car reading like Virgo, I truly believe that they can see whatever this is, what's inside of you, okay? Like the you one of a kind. Somebody here could be a, a, a September Virgo. Yeah, nothing can break you. They know that. 
I'm also getting that somebody here, even though they do something in the hills, they do something in the forest, or they do something, you know, during the daytime, a lot of people think that, oh, they do it at night. No, somebody does this shit during the day, okay? <laughs> but I'm getting like, Virgo, they see this in you that you will not break, you will not bend, you will not fold. Somebody's birthday could be 9-19, okay, September 19th. But I'm getting that Virgo... Um, I don't know. This person actually has grown to be very fond of you, Virgo. The color orange could be very significant. Okay, I'm also getting turquoise. Okay, Virgo. Because you've handled this like a real G, a real professional. You almost remind this witch of themselves. Okay, before they made a choice to go on the crossover, the dark road. I feel like somebody really didn't have a choice. They never did. They they grew up on the dark side. They grew up in the black light. I feel like, you know, you, you, you're opposite, okay? So somebody's like, fuck, this is going to mend the bridge, but I'm gonna actually say no to doing this. Or somebody actually accepted the money here, but they knew that, Virgo, you wouldn't be touched at all. Point blank, period. So somebody just keeps coming back, coming back, to that witch or that warlock and they're like okay i'm gonna take it but they know that you cannot be touched you're flexible you won't bend you won't fold i i think that they also have told this person that but they refuse to believe it here virgo they don't they don't really see it they keep seeing little bit of pieces of it or somebody's just allowing somebody to believe and think what they want they may not even be into real magic and warlock they just create that illusion here yeah, I just feel like Virgo is something about your energy that seems to, you know how to chill yourself out or you know how to calm this person down when it comes back to this love reading. Somebody knows that you can, it's almost the way that you breathe through situations, you pray through situations, you sit back and you chill through situations, you sleep through situations in the midst of the chaos, in the midst of whatever this is going on. Even when you overthink, that can lead you to resting, but it's like Virgo is resting at the right time. Okay, somebody wants Want you to feel like you're running out of time or you've wasted too much time thinking but i actually feel like that's what's creating the new life here that's what's creating the shift i feel like you wake up out of something and you wake up and it's almost like living in the dream you wake up as a queen you wake up as a king you wake up next to your king or queen so you wake up right where you need to be here okay it gives me that story i keep thinking about cinderella when she actually met the prince and she was running out of time but he came and found her anyway okay very childlike energy but that's what you need in order for you to create anyway you have to be able to imagine here virgo so a lot of this you know if people can tap into your imagination that's the only way that they can change your destiny because they make you stop believing in yourself that's why it's so important for you to go back to that blind faith okay walk by faith not by sight it's very important here virgo point blank period i feel like virg you keep on conquering and conquering and conquering and this is why this person who who has fallen in love with you they love your truth they love that you ask why they love that you get to the bottom of things they don't even want a lot of you somebody's name could be charles okay somebody is like damn they a hell of a character even if this is somebody who has heard a lot about you like just through the wind through the breeze okay through the grapevine i feel like virgo this person they seem to you know they actually you know they feel like you're a very honorable very stand-up type of person period okay yeah i feel like you go by the rules you go by the book even if it's for your own life you stand by your own code your own moral and you cannot be swayed you cannot be bought this is why somebody like yeah i don't know time for you to go i feel like virgo somebody can really be hitting you with the truth here okay somebody trying to brush something under the rug or somebody trying to you know tap into your head whatever somebody gonna be like no nah, that person ain't not they not for you they ain't heaven sent or this is you, Virgo. Now, of course, I just seen that yin card. So, um, yin and yang, both of you guys could be bad for each other. Or both of you guys, people say y'all are bad. Okay? But I feel like this bad, whatever it is, it turns into a blessing. Okay? This is why a lot of people don't want this relationship to happen. I feel like also you're changing somebody. Not, like, not by... Not by force here, Virgo, okay? Not by might, but just by with your power. I feel like, you know, somebody knowing that it's almost like they believe in your gift. They believe in your intuition or they know that you the truth with it. Somebody's birthday could be April 22nd here, 
okay or april 30th 44 could be significant okay as well but i'm getting 49 419 but i'm also getting that somebody here um virgo they could be um realizing like you are like this earth angel or you're very prophetic you're very blessed okay or you know you're one of a kind you're a blessing you're an angel in disguise like they feel almost as if they can't hurt you they can't lie to you it's not that they they, they can't do it it's that they don't want to do it i don't feel like somebody has ever felt like this before okay so they could be talking to their friends or telling certain people virgo oh don't say this don't say that like they really got people walking on thin air here or, or treading lightly because virgo i feel like this person does not want to lose you okay I don't know where that card was that I was looking at, that co-create card, but that's what I'm picking up on, that this per this person definitely feels like you're their soulmate. You're the one for them, okay? They have been waiting a very long time to find you, but I feel like God and Spirit is definitely behind this, protecting this situation here at all costs. It's like protect the queen at all costs. I feel like Virgo, you got to get to the why. You need to start looking at things like this. Does this person make you want to start doing better? Like when the, when this energy come around you, do you want to get up and not clean the house because they coming over? Do you wake up the next day and want to clean your house up? Or are you lethargic and don't want to do shit? Do you only clean when this person come over? Okay. Um, does this energy make you want to forget about getting high, smoking weed, smoking a cigarette, taking that drink? Or is this an energy that you guys both seem to indulge in that? It's almost like you need to, it's almost like awakening, awakening something in you, but it's bringing out the best of you. Even though it's almost like it, it started with the worst or it cultivated something, I don't know, it mixed up some type of emotion here is what I'm picking up on, Virgo. I feel like at the end of the day it's like clearing out that junk okay sweeping out that bullshit getting out the negative thoughts getting out whatever this is so that there can be transparency there can be honesty there can be you know whatever this is i'm hearing sovereignty okay peace a harm a harmonious re harmonious relationship here virgo a very very deep connection being formed here point blank period so yeah i feel like you guys have to make up your mind um you know are we ready to put this in because i'm getting also that virgo somebody saying i can't love you in the dark and i can't love you in the dark it feels like we're oceans apart. Whatever she say. There's so much space between us. Baby, we're already defeated. Cause everything changed me. Yeah, Virgo, they know that you have been broken. Somebody has like somebody knows your story or somebody knows that you have been broken. They listen to everything you say with with detail, with intent. Okay, like this person is they remember everything you say. Definitely could be dealing with a Sagittarius, okay, or a Scorpio. It's like they have that elephant brain. Okay, Virgo. The difference between Virgo and that energy is because Virgo, you see a lot of the things that people don't say. You say a lot of the things that people really want to say, but they can't really get it out. Yeah, you do that. But this is somebody else, Virgo, who listens to everything you say. So they want you to listen to them. They want you to they want you to be able to hear their side of the story. They want you to be able to tap in with their emotion. But I keep feeling this sense of trickery. And it's almost as if, Virgo, it keeps making me wonder, is this in your mind? Are you ready for an, a relationship that is real? That is the question here. And if it's not you, it's this person who questioning if they could have all these feelings for you. But am I ready? I don't want to let this person down. So they definitely could be trying to move slow here. Even though everything is like, go, 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 go. You never know when it's somebody's last day. Don't take it for granted. I feel like those are all messages and they all are important. They all deem necessary when it comes to these open-ended conversations that you're having with somebody. And I like that type of energy, Virgo, because I feel like it's really like, you know, somebody exploring into your mind 
mind or you know really helping you to change your perspective but not in a way by force not in a way by of control but this is just somebody who's like well why you know or maybe you know what about this this could be a curious kid virgo like curious george somebody has so many questions or they like to you know reflect they like to ponder or they like to say well why did that happen why did we do this and i feel like virgo in all reality you may not be as vocal with these type of conversations you may have that a lot in your head but it's necessary for you so you can stay out of your head then you start realizing some of the things in my head are simply just in my head if that makes sense for some of you guys right so I feel like some of you guys are really, you know, starting to overcome depression, overcome addiction, overcome uh, poverty, overcome curses and hexes and all of this by simply being around somebody who loves you just for you. And they want that love in return because I feel like you have poured love on people almost to a point to where to some it can seem forced, right, Virgo? Or for you, it can feel forced. But this is somebody that wants you to pour that love on, but they want to pour it back. They understand the balance of me fill your cup, I fill you, and you fill mine. I scratch your back, you scratch mine. So it's not about going 50-50 with this person. I feel like this person actually wants both of you guys to go 100-100. But when it comes down to it, Virgo, they're going to require 50% of you because i feel like at the end of the day they know that their love can carry you guys but Virg, you've done that so much for other people how about you go ahead and give what somebody is giving you this is one of those readings that's different from the other sides virgo because a lot of you guys you so used to combat you so used to war you so used to fighting how many times do i have to fight to get what's mine to get what i love to get what i deserve it's so much deeper than when we just talk about a love relationship right virgo it's like virgo you have always been on a mission you have always had to fight your way through something you have always had to educate your way way through something you have always had to you get what i'm saying just it's like be two steps ahead of something and this is somebody that virgo they are really two steps ahead of you when it comes to maturity when it comes to i've been there done that but they're willing to stand right where, where you are and take you to where they are Virgo. they don't want to take you by force they understand the beauty of patience they understand the beauty of step by step piece by piece okay so this person is actually fighting for you virgo not against you okay they're not fighting with you but they will fight for you and they understand this battle that you're internally going through against yourself and what they also understand is the battles that you've been through with other people this is somebody that definitely wants you to know that virgo i'm with you when you fight you are not alone i got your back ride or die i hear you but i'm gonna show you how to battle this another way Way. I'm going to show you that you better than that. I'm going to show you to wait till they bring the beef to the door. I'm going to show you that you can go outside and nothing going to happen to you, especially when you with me, especially when our energy link. We ain't got to be together to be one. This is that type of uh, connection that everybody has been trying to stop you from having. Uh, I almost said Brady, <laughs> Bentley, excuse me. <laughs> Virgo, okay. They have attacked everything. And they're probably not done attacking, but Virgo, the truth of the matter is you're overcoming something. You're going to walk away in victory. You're walking away with your hell head high here. I'm going to kill this goddamn bug because they think it's a game. This little fly, I'm so sick of you. I'm glad you brought your little self over here. Got your ass. Okay. But yes, Virgo. It's been feeling so good outside. I keep that back door open. Brady like the back door open to give him something to do. So I really don't mind. But child, y'all know I hate to kill bugs, but I can't stand it. Okay, I cannot stand the little flies. They just be flying around. I had to throw away my little wine cup. I'm like, nah, you know what? <laughs> yeah, know what? Welcome to Texas. Welcome to Texas. If you live here, you get it. You understand it. You don't, you don't. Okay, one thing about it, we ain't got no roaches. I'll tell you that. Not in my not in my vicinity. Okay, and no spiders neither. Okay. No crocodiles, none of that. Okay. <laughs> no Scorpios. No two times the size flies. I mean the, the, the biggest fly you're gonna see is the mosquitoes with the big legs. You might see a daddy dog. What is it called? Daddy long leg. I don't even know if I've seen them in a while. 
But yeah, you don't really, you know, it is what it is. You will deal with flies in Texas. So feel how you feel for all the spiritual readers out there. Go ahead and get your best commentary on it. We're going to let it be. Yes, our pizza the fly, he had to go. Climbing and rocking around. Uh, that's, they attracted to the light. So that's why they come anytime I got the bright light on, the lights on in the house. That's what make them running on up in here. But let me tell you, I told them the other day, I don't want to kill you guys. But if you come, keep coming back in my house, you're going to die. I promise y'all, it's like two or three of them flew right out the door. <laughs> they skedaddle. Okay. <laughs> they skedaddle right out the door. But it's some other ones after I said that they was bold. It was like, they was like, zoo, zoo in my face. I said, oh, yeah, it's more around this mf -er. I give them one or two chances. I'm going to walk, walk, get away. And then after that, it's time. You're getting killed. I'm sick of y'all. They just come around uh, basking in the light like they getting a tan. Not on my watch. <laughs> Not on my watch, baby. You know, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Okay. But, yes. You know, I just also want to tell you guys, shout out to the girls. Shout out all to all the beautiful women out there that can do their lashes in 2.5 seconds. Okay. Y'all got the magical fingers. Shout out to y'all. Okay. I know. I already know. And not to be bad on my reading, but I already know them girls that can do the magic in two, I mean, the eyelashes in 2.5 seconds. I know you got a magical cootie cat, okay? I know you do. I know you got that monster, that whatever. I don't know if it's the monster throat or the monster monster choke between your legs, but I know it's something when y'all can do it in 2.5 seconds. I'm going to give you your kudos, okay? I'm going to give you your kudos. Now, for those of my new beginners, I'm giving you guys your kudos too, cause I be I see you, you know I see us sometimes we be trying that little lash just be hanging. Can't you? It's like you do one, you get that one right. You got another other one gonna give you a hard time. You go the next day, you like you know what? I'ma switch eyes. I'ma go over here and do this eye. Now that I wanna give you the hard time, okay, Virg. So shout out to the ones that continue trying. To all my ladies that watch YouTube videos to learn how to do the job. To all my men that watch the YouTube videos to learn how to get a job. If your woman asks for an oil change, chat you out there changing the oil. If your woman asks you to do something, you out there, baby. You ain't giving no excuses. You giving your all. Yes. Shout out to the men like that. And you know why I'm saying that too, Virg. No, I ain't being funny at all. I'm actually just really reading the vibe. But Virgo, get with men and men or women that Virgo really just you ain't gotta ask. You ain't gotta ask. You know what I'm saying? Now you could be honest, but after you'd have been honest, I ain't gotta ask. Get with people like as a woman. You you ain't you shouldn't have to ask your man buy me roses, buy me flowers. You know what I'm saying? Take me on a date, do this and do that. You shouldn't have to ask. You know, it's just certain things in certain roles that when a person love you and a person value you, Virgo, they do naturally. I feel like go back to the courting days. Find somebody that courts you, Virgo. Okay, if they see that you in shambles, baby, uh, look, let me be your knight and hero. If they see that you need a break and you've been working all day, let me come rub your feet. Okay, it, it just is what it is. Let me bring you a little lunch to the job. Oh, baby, they, be, they give you a hard time at work. Okay, well, let me take you out afterwards. I know you may not have time. But also, Virgo, you know, especially to my working ladies, if you have, you know, a man that's blue collar and you work a white collar job, I feel like, you know, um, make time for your man. Don't make him feel like he ain't got nothing going for himself. Okay, because you, you fell in love with that man for something. You chose that man for something. And some of y'all ladies out here cheating on your man. And I'm going to tell you this, you got a real good one. Because it seemed like, the, I talked about this the other day, somebody man love they woman. They they worship her dirty draws, okay? And I feel like, you know, maybe there's not enough affection or somebody that met them a little fling in the office that they go, you know, have, that they having this little love affair with. That's what I'm really picking up on. Yeah okay but others of you guys you know somebody could be the exact opposite somebody that met somebody i feel like wet they get real wet or wet wet that's what i'm hearing i'm calling you daddy daddy can you be my daddy daddy i need a daddy daddy come and make it wait out on me I'm telling you, yeah. So 
Somebody here could be in their 30s here, 35, okay? Somebody is very loyal here. Both of you guys could be very loyal. For those of you guys that you keep thinking that, you know, somebody reminds you of the past or, you know, you think about your younger days or you think about what you did when you was young. Now, of course, Virgo, you could be enticing that type of energy. Somebody, you got somebody thinking about shit, all the stuff they did when they was young here. But there's a deep knowing here, Virgo. Somebody all in their head. It just never ends. Same cycle. Okay. But, Virg, I feel like enjoy it while it lasts or it's supposed to happen this way or get out of your fucking head. Somebody could be the one that changed your life to show you what real love is. This energy over here wants you to believe that you can't have this or that it will never happen or that it's got to happen the way that they say or on their time. And, Virgo, I, I, I'm the master and I have the control. Virgo, please. There go that card I was talking about, co-create. Somebody wants to make something happen with you, period. They walk this very thin line for you, your intuitive ass. And I feel like crazy thing is that they're intuitive too, Virgo. Yeah, I feel like you make a grown man cry. You bring this dog, you put that dog in a kennel. Could be like Drake. Bray Bray. He, he, he throwing a temper tantrum because he didn't have to get off the bed. He's sleeping on the floor. Brady just cut it. I know you hear me. Yeah, don't look at me like that. You just just be exaggerating. Why are you exaggerating? No, that's not your cue. Don't get up here because I'm reading. I said no. Damn. I told you. Yeah, shake it off. Go and sit down somewhere. I love you. Go sit. Sit. Thank you. <clears throat> Yeah, this person really want to, you know, pretty much regenerate, rejuvenate. They want that old shit, whatever you used to think, let that be over. They like, I am not that. Okay, they want this happiness with you, this peace with you, prosperity with you. They want you to feel very good about who you are, Virgo. So I feel like you really can't deny that. This is a deep connection being formed here. It's been written in destiny as, as well. That's why a lot of your relationships didn't work. I feel like you have been selected and handpicked for one person. Okay, I feel like this person is very much so observant. They listen to your songs. They're going to help you finish your dream. I feel like you have a deep knowing that this person is meant to be in your life, period. Especially those of you guys that are attached to God here. Okay, even though you like, hmm, I'm here, you know what it is. You're leaning on God to make the right decision or you're leaning on your, your experience, your intuition, what you know to be right, what you know to be wrong. And I feel like you're standing on that. For some of you guys, it could be walking away from a relationship, okay? But I feel like that's in your past. Now it's something different. Now there's mending. You learned your lesson about holding on, about walking away. I feel like you have this streak of independence and it's time for you to learn how to uh, co-create. It's, one, it's, time, it's time for you to learn how to exist with others. Even if you're in a marriage, it's time for you to learn how to exist with friends outside of your marriage. It's time for you to learn how to do jobs and things that's outside of just your family. Even if you've been solo dolo for a long time, it's time for you to learn how to be in relationships and partnerships. It, even if you know you've been running a business for yourself for 20, 30 years, you could be having somebody that wants to buy you out or you could be having somebody that wants to go into partnership with you. You're not used to, you know, really uh, uh, sharing, you know, ideas or you're not really used to having somebody else, you know, convey in on what they feel or what they think or pitching you, whatever. And I just feel like, but at the end of the day, in order for there to be growth, you're going to have to step out of your comfort zone. And sometimes your comfort zone is what your family is comfortable with, what your friends are comfortable with, what you comfortable with, with living. But I'm telling you, for some of you guys, there is so much more in store for you. So you got to get into your head and out of your bag sometimes sometimes you got to get it out of your head and into your bag and you guys know which way it is for you to choose okay baby you and your pokemon cards can you send me some because i love pokemon just send me a dick okay send me a good dick send me a dick you know that that's worth something a vintage one 
Because I used to have a, a big old book of Pokemon cards, a bond of fool. And my grandma threw them away because she told me those was devil cards. Just threw away all my Pokemon cards. I used to whoop people ass on that Pokemon. Be out there for hours at the daycare, slapping the cards down like we playing spades. Okay? Well, I don't play spades. I used to play Pokemon. What's up? Jokes on you, buddy. Me and my Pokemon cards. Okay, anywho, yes, Virgo, this is the way to your new life, period. So you got to go through it anyway. Whether it's the yes or the no, you got to go through it because it's helping you clean something up. And even if it's not, some of you guys have that aura, you have that energy, you have that craft on you, you have that uh, purpose in you where you help other people clean it up. Not help them in a way where you're pointing out their flaws. You know, they just get around you and they, they want to clean up, they, they, they want to clean up their BS. Like we said, they want to start doing yoga. They want to start stretching and reading the Bible and reading books. They want to start doing doing things that, you know, whatever, for whatever reason. You never told them to do it. But, hey, for others of you guys, you just, you know, naturally make somebody want to become a husband. You don't have to tell somebody, I want to be a wife. I want to have your child. This is naturally. They naturally want to buy you flowers. They naturally hearing songs and thinking about you. They naturally saying the things that you be really wanting everybody else to say. So, yeah. Yes, Bert. I feel like somebody matches your energy and you got to get used to it in every way and every level. Because sometimes, Bert, it's true when you've been through a lot of bad shit, it's hard to, you know, believe in something real. When you put your all and you didn't lost and lost and lost, you could still have the faith and go out there again. But sometimes it'd be like, okay, is this real? Are we, are we really here? <laughs> yeah, we really here. Okay, and even if it's the old, same old song, the same old tune, the energy is not for you, Virgo, cool, you got through it. You got through it so that that new energy and what is for you can come in. So, yeah, I feel like I'm hearing that song. You should let me love you. Let me be the one to give you everything you want in me. Oh, baby, good love and protection. Make me your selection. Show you the way love's supposed to be. Okay, you know what other song I'm hearing? Uh, Drake and Janae Iko. Somebody could love Janae Iko or somebody could love Drake. Okay, I feel like if you're the feminine, you could love Drake or masculine. And if you're the masculine, you could love Janae Iko or vice versa. Okay. Somebody's name could be Meredith or Maria or Santos could be significant as well. I feel like when you met somebody, you could have had on the color red or the color purple. Okay. Somebody else could have been wearing like lime green or I don't know, lime green tennis shoes or some type of khaki or army pants or gym shorts. Okay. Somebody also could have had on like a black hat or yellow t-shirt that's what i'm picking up on okay i'm also getting somebody doesn't drink soda but maybe you do okay virgo or they like shit i'll drink soda with you virg okay <laughs> i just feel like virgo somebody's trying new things with you or for you they like man i'm really out of my comfort zone i hope you know that virgo like yeah i know me too Okay, Virgo, I feel you getting razzle-dazzle. Calm down over there now. <laughs> I feel you over there getting razzle-dazzle. Somebody named could be Simon, okay, or Samantha. Sasha. This could also be somebody's pet's name. Okay, I'm also getting that, Virgo. Somebody could try to name their pet after you as a jab. Like, if this is an ex or this is a hater, okay, or whatever. Somebody could have their pet named after you. Okay, that's a that's a, a form of magic, a form of sorcery. Okay. I'm also getting that about Simon in the Bible. He was a sorcerer. Okay. He had a whole town into wickedness and evilness. Tension. Okay. Was it Joseph? Can't remember who it was, but yeah, let's keep it going. Who came through? Simon wanted to buy that. He's like, oh, it's real. The gift is real. I want that too, though. 
the money can't buy that yeah very somebody sees that you you can't be bought so this is why they don't want to really just like rush you with money i feel like somebody definitely wants to take you out but it's like okay when virgo is ready they really don't know what you want, Virgo, okay? And it seems like the times that they're trying to give you what you want, I feel this energy of where, Virgo, you getting your brattiness or your cattiness or you're getting moody or this is simply how you feel about this energy. It's like, fuck, it ain't working out. Or, you know, time just always gets away. I feel like, yeah, somebody like, they about to put all of it in, Virgo. So be careful what you ask for, point blank, period. I'm getting that too, okay? Be careful what you ask for because I'm not going to put the 100% foot forward here. I'm also getting something about evidence here. There's 100% evidence or 100% you are the father. Somebody could be thinking that like, shit, I don't even know if this is my kid. So they, they're not really telling you this part of this information. They're waiting to find something out. But Virgo, they're going to actually be the father or you are the mother. So I feel like somebody's going to have to explain that. And they could be wondering as well, how are they going to tell you this? Or I don't know. I feel like somebody could maybe concealing some type of information here, Virgo. Or they're just not telling you something 100%. Maybe they feel like you're concealing the information. It's something that they could know about you. It could be vice versa here. But I'm definitely getting that somebody 100% is the father here. Okay, somebody could have went on a vacation with somebody. I feel like somebody's very uh, salty about this. Consequences. I feel like somebody feels, you know, pretty much trapped or they're mad. Somebody may have not even thought this all the way through when it comes to this family situation. Okay, but yeah, definitely getting that somebody is the father here. 110% or someone is the mother or, you know, this is the person you're going to spend your life with, period. Somebody also could be cutting ties from a relationship here, Virgo. They don't want you to know that. They don't want you to think that you're the reason for this split, okay? But they were already thinking about getting out of this relationship. I feel like it's very abusive, very toxic or very draining or somebody just feels tied up in a situation. They also feel like, Virgo, you're going to say no or you're going to leave them. But feel, somebody feel like you only got one shot, one chance. I feel like, Virgo, they're not telling you all of these things that they're, you know. Some of you guys, this ain't everybody energy. This is like one or two people in the room. So you guys know who you are that need to walk away from this toxic ass person. Okay, I feel like, you know, this person, they, they, you block them, they're clingy or they block you. It's always this distance here. I feel like, you know, they don't come see you. You guys don't spend any time together. Okay, just a bunch of dreams here. They don't show up for your birthday. They don't show up for holidays. I feel like somebody's over their head. Now, of course, somebody could be in a broken relationship where it's just a bunch of bullshit. It's drama. Okay, you know, somebody doesn't have any privacy or we sleep in two different rooms. We don't talk. We don't communicate. Okay. Somebody could live in the same house with somebody. I just feel like there's total disgust or they like, you stay on your side, I'm going to stay on my side. Do not fucking talk to me. Stay away from me type of energy. Yeah, somebody feels very just like, I don't know, Virgo, but they, they feel like you would have a very hard time understanding this story. Okay, the last thing they want to do is like hurt your feelings or bring you down or something like that. So I definitely feel that there's going to be some type of communication here. Okay, Virgo, you definitely could be dealing with some type of narcissistic energy or you're used to dealing with narcissistic energy. So therefore, you're a little par paranoid here. But I also feel like, Virgo, somebody's going to show you like I can show you better than I can tell you. I'm definitely not like that. This is somebody that even if they go out, they come back home. Okay, or they're very optimistic here. Okay, or even if they like to take risks and have fun, gamble. Somebody could like to go to Vegas or they like to party or, you know, they work at a strip club or a nightclub or they're around a lot of sexy people. I just feel like, Virgo, you know, you seem to be their, 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 their place of safety where they can breathe and they can be themselves. I feel like, Virgo, somebody could even be big shit in their own little world, but you don't really know that. Okay.
So a lot of this is in your head or somebody here, psycho here, that's abusive, conniving, or unpredictable. This could have been something that you've been through in your past here, Virg. feel like they're trying to keep you tied down. Like they're trying to be the boss of this situation. Every time you seem to be moving on, recharging, they can actually tell. And they want you to get into this lonesomeness in your mind. They want you to feel rejected. Okay, Virgo? Now this could be your mind. Like every time you're trying to move on, you start getting that sense. It's because that tie that you need to cut with this person because Virgo, i'm not gonna lie to you i do see this person that loves you but i see you putting up boundaries i see you not really wanting to believe it i see you wanting to believe that it's a love affair but virgo if it's a love affair and this person is two-faced then why are you talking to them go back to the why That way, somebody, whoever this is that keeps trying to get into your head, get into your thoughts, get you confused, that, that, that take pleasure in this thrill, Berg, while they're out here living your life and they got you questioning everything when they the one dip, dating the bad boys, when they the one that's falling and sipping the tea, they the one that's being trapped up, Virgo, they're salty. They want you to believe that you can't have something that they want. Even if they already got it, they salty because they know yours is better. And they're wondering, how did Virgo end up with that? How did Virgo get someone like that? Somebody who longs for you, who loves you, who spends time with you, who gives you, you know, what, they're, what, they, what they can. This person could get busy sometimes, Virgo. But I feel like, you know, they make it up to you or... This is somebody, Virgo, that I don't feel like they buy your time or pay to stay or, you know, this person, they give you what they can and it, they really, really hold that value uh, value to them. You know, time is valuable. Time is money. And this person like, look, I put down everything. I stop with my clients. I stop with my friends. Like my free time really do go to you, Virgo. Like somebody makes sure that they communicate with you. They make sure that they that you know like how much they love you. I feel like this is really the real deal. But Virg, get into their head and start thinking about possibilities. I just feel like also you could have a lot of time on your hands or you know, you've been dating people that always have bullshitted you, just toxic ass energy here, Virgo. It's hard for you to really believe these things. It's like, nah, this is gonna be another dead end job. This is gonna be another stuck ass person. This person is a headache. I feel like also, Virgo, this person will not turn they back on you through the problems through the bullshit through the chaos it's like this person like shit i'm fighting with you hell that's what it is what you say we got to do what we'll light these candles up together they don't give a fuck virgo if they, if they got to learn how to do some shit they'll learn that shit i'm telling you bird they gonna make sure you grow they don't give a fuck if it's growing mushrooms or whatever it's gonna be growth over here they gonna think twice about eating over here virgo this person gonna put you on when i say how they gonna teach you how to really handle these cockroaches and these infestations and these liars and these vultures baby please this is the last link up that anybody toxic around you ever wanted because they could grow on you Virg. they like parasites they're like yeast they're like bacteria Okay. Yeah, so you getting washed up. You like, yeah, no more of that. Somebody here, you about to beat a, be, be in some type of addiction or beat some type of depression or some type of battle here. Okay. Some type of way of thinking here. It could just be a toxic way of thinking. Okay. I'm hearing no more drama on the dance floor. Yeah, Mary J. Blige. Baby, somebody loves to dance as well here, Virgo. Okay, they like to two-step. I feel like I just see you having so much fun. I see the biggest smile on Virgo's face. You could be wearing a sexy little red dress that's kind of flowy or something like that, Virg. I just see somebody spinning you. And, Virg, I just feel this energy. Girl, you better believe it, okay? Or you better start imagining this shit and acting like it's happening. You better believe in having something real and believe that you can still get something real real it's never too late but i see this world world it's like a, a, a romance berg and i don't care if it lasts for two or three months berg it's that you had it you experienced it and it may just be what you need that's what everybody else say okay yeah spirit is sending you what you need um uh archangel michael could be in the uh, uh presence of this situation here okay a lot of love virgo it's what you need it's helping you cut a tie burn a bridge okay it's, a, it's helping you put water to some type of fire here it's helping you to you know walk over that bridge that have that old water up underneath it point blank period okay 
So we're going to go ahead and wrap this reading up. We've been on here for a minute. Thank you for those of, uh, that's been on the page. Okay. Go ahead and hit the like button for your girl. Sure enough, appreciate that. Help my video reach those that need to see it. Okay. Last but not least, Virgo, we're going to run through these elements. See how they feeling about you. Okay. Final message here for the Virgo. Final message here for the Virgo. All right, Virg, let's get to it. We'll start off with the lovely, lovely water signs. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. How does the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy feel about the Virgo? How does the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Scorpio energy feel about the Virgo? I'm hearing this too shall pass, Virg. Okay. How does the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy feel about the Virgo? Feel like this person wants to see you shine okay they want to be the one for you okay they want to give you that love that support okay somebody also could be into like transgender uh women or men here okay but i feel like somebody just wants to see you have the love that you desire they want to see you in a state of peace they want to see you with a healthy balance diet or they want to see you get the love that you deserve they want you to be able to you know understand what's lies from truth they want you to be able to make a good decision here somebody could be calling you daddy yeah they want a family with you okay heavy on the cancer here the month of six could be significant okay july could be significant Somebody's very stand up. I'm also getting somebody could like Nike tennis shoe or somebody could have like a Nike keychain. I'm seeing that as well. Like a, a tennis shoe key, a keychain with a tennis shoe on it, excuse me, or a charm bracelet. Yeah, I'm also getting that Virgo. You could be torn in between the two here. I'm getting diamond in the rough or somebody wants to buy you a diamond. Okay, but I'm also getting somebody could, even though they love you and they want to give you all of this, it's like step by step, like let's take it slow here. So don't get ahead of yourself. Don't move too quick. Okay, for some of you guys, Virgo, but for, especially if you have blonde hair, okay, or you like to wear wigs or you like to wear lipstick and you like to wear the color red, you like to party or you're very, you know, you like to uh, uh, accessorize or dress up. I feel like for some of you guys, you know, this could be a time in your life where you know your your ambitions are on, on are a, a little bit you know more important for you and you know having a baby could slow you down or maybe for some of you guys you know you could be you know wondering if this is the person for you to have a child with for others of you guys i'm picking up very heavy like you didn't already did that been there done that like you want this family you know it is what it is whether you're male or female or you know you are transitioned into a female or male i feel like you know you've been praying for this family you've been waiting you're patient you're loving and here it is i feel like you could be getting that for some of you guys okay but i'm not gonna lie there is a masculine here it could be a gemini that's really thinking like i don't know if i would have kids with you i don't know if i'm really ready for that they actually could be thinking more so leaning towards a divorce okay or leaning towards some type of separation here never the right time to say goodbye i do see this masculine was considering that or even playing this stepfather role and moving in with somebody but i feel like somebody causes someone else a lot of stress or they're always picking on people or they're always doing some type of work or magic or reading stuff or just trying to i don't know somebody you know they don't have time to go out and spend time with their lover even when they do spend time with their lover this masculine feels like somebody is always on instagram trying to post pictures trying to get attention focused on somebody else's relationship somebody doesn't really know how to have fun they like oh yeah let me look at this let me look at that okay so yeah i feel like somebody has started as a yes but it ends as a no because somebody actually is a bully here especially when they get around this certain feminine inter, uh, individual it could be a virgo here that they get around and they start being mean or they start linking up with somebody and talking crap about somebody did you see this did you hear that oh yeah we're gonna make sure they lose this they're gonna die tomorrow this person is very scared of that okay they like damn i thought you was peaceful i thought you know you was a therapist or you was a healer or you was a whatever this is um i'm hearing a yogi or something like vegetarian i didn't know y'all got down like this hold on now this person taking mental note of all of that they like shit 
So yeah, if this person definitely could be scared to tell this energy that they want to leave. They don't want to work for them no more, okay? Because they see how they destroy and distort and fuck up other people's lives, okay? So yeah, I feel like, Virgo, you are a breath of fresh air to somebody because you just be chilling, minding your business. You actually have the exact opposite energy of what somebody has experienced. And I feel like it's vice versa for you, okay? Some of you guys could be getting eye exams or doctor's exams. Um, just, you know, uh, yearly checkups. It's the, the new, uh, a, a new year, so I feel like you definitely should do that. You could be waiting for results, okay? I feel like your mind could be playing tricks on you. You're going to be sick, but the results come in and you're just fine, okay? I'm also getting something about a pothole, okay, Virgo? So be very careful. I feel like you could also be used to driving a certain way or a certain route, okay? And you used to kind of cruising on the street, but I I feel like some something could be like a big pothole or a massive black hole out of nowhere here okay i feel like it's gonna cause a bunch of traffic or it could actually mess your car up okay so virgo i feel like if you ain't gotta leave the house you know these next couple of days go ahead and stay in okay somebody's name could be like marcel or marcelo okay or mauricio madero madero Modo, modo, something like that. Okay, but yeah, Virgo, I, I just feel like somebody's trying to entice fear. Don't go with your fear. I feel like don't go with that thought of, you know, let me just hide. Let me not do it. I feel like, Virgo, just go at your pace. Go very slow, slow and steady. Slow and steady is what's going to win the race here. Okay. So I just feel like you got this, Virgo, but you're headed towards your dreams. This is going to be a rebirth, a rejuvenation for you, a regeneration for you. Okay, you're breaking through some type of generational curse or you're going to be the first one in your family to be a millionaire. You're going to be the first one to get this doctorate degree, this first one to become a lawyer, this first one to do something very, you know, great here. Okay, you are destined for greatness. You were designed for greatness. And I feel like spirit is really in the, in the midst of this. I feel like somebody else they have a hard time you know really uh achieving and you know you have a hard time believing and together you guys are making this very deadly deep combination here point blank period it's very magical it's very mystical it's very unbelievable un unbelievable but the main thing is miraculous here okay it's gonna have a lot of people looking back a lot of people wondering how did virgo get that or what did virgo do or how did that happen but at the end of the day virg i feel like you're gonna walk through something with your head held high okay Okay, and your person is walking very bravely next next to you, no matter what this is, you're going through spirit is in the midst of all of this here, Virgo. It's very loud and clear. This is almost like a prophecy here. This is something very uh, prophetic, okay? Very angelic, very sweet, very patient, very kind, very all I seeing, Virgo. It's like, man, this is one of those things, Virgo, you've been asking for for a long time. Somebody is adapting to you. They're adapting with you. They are watching you. They are moving with you. They want to make sure you are protected at all costs. I cannot make this up. They're going to do the work for you. This is nothing but prosperity. This is nothing but goodness. This is traveling the world this is you know virgo i got you let me do it for you put your feet up sit back and relax and for you guys being such hard workers the way that you are such giving people such nurturers the way that you know you you're not used to not being needed this is somewhere somewhere that you're not needed you're just wanted virgo and it may take time for you to get used to but i feel like virgo get used to it it may be fleeting but get used to it you experienced it now you know what it feels like what it tastes like it's not something you can just say oh i don't like that well you you ain't never even tried miso soup. You ain't never even tried sushi. You ain't never even tried vegetables. You you ain't never even drunk whatever, boba, uh, boba tea. So it's just like, yeah, Virgo, somebody getting you out of the comfort zone. So now you can really make a decision. Do I like it or do I or do or, or not? You don't have to stay in anything that is no longer serving purpose in your life. That was the reading that we did the other day, okay? And people going to be mad about it. People going to be mad when you switch up. People going to be mad when you do something different. But at the end of the day here, Virgo, what's for you is for you. You are the golden egg. You get what you deserve. Spirit said you're going to get what you deserve regardless. People could think you're selfish. People could think you're self-entitled. People don't understand or see something in you. But when I say that God created you just the way that he wanted you to be and he designed you for just that right person, that's what it is. It's love for everybody in this world. I don't care if you're on 600-pound life or you 120 pounds uh, and you eat green vegetables every day and you work out every day and you drink your protein shakes and you don't miss a vitamin.
I don't care if you wear makeup and get your nails done and you you sexy and independent and smart or you a bum on the street. So at the end of the day, somebody got their eye on you. They feel like, you know, you a perfect match. You their speed, Virgo. You got somebody that's willing to. They're not going to chase you, Virgo. But baby, when I tell you they don't plan on leaving you alone, they don't plan on leaving you alone. Yeah, they lose sleep about you. Okay, Virgo. Yeah, they want to know more about you. Okay, they want to align with you, though, and make peace with you. I feel like this person has chose you to be their wife or their husband. This is one of those things, like, you ever see those couples that was married for, like, 40, 50 years, or they still together, not married, but still together, and people ask them, like, how did you know that, you know, that was your person? What made you decide? And oftentimes, those people will tell you, I knew, I knew when I knew. I knew, I just knew when I knew. I knew the first moment I seen them, or I knew when I knew. She did this, he did that. I knew when I knew, male or female. It's definitely giving that type of energy here, Virgo, okay? Oh, I got so off track when I, uh, we were supposed to be doing water sign. I'm Okay, let me end it up like this, okay? I'm gonna do one card for each of, uh, for the other elements. My bad, y'all. I got thrown off on that. Still getting used to this, uh, this rhythm of doing it. Okay, so fire signs, give me one card on how the fire sign truly feels for the Virgo, okay? Spread your wings, okay, Virgo? I don't know if that wants to come out in the reverse or not, but spread your wings, okay, too. I feel like they finally realizing that, Virgo, you're number one, they're number two, okay? They want to move on or they have to do more to get to where you're going, period, okay? When it comes to the earth signs, how does the earth sign feel about the Virgo? How does the Capricorn Taurus Virgo feel about the Virgo? Give me the true message here. Me one car. How does the Virgo Capricorn Taurus feel about the Virgo? How does the Earth sign feel about the Virgo? I'm here and trying too hard, Virgo, but let's get to it. Or this is how you feel about them. How does the Earth sign feel about the Virgo? I'm also hearing unbothered. Yeah. I feel like uh, just breathe here. Somebody here, they had to take a deep breath, Berg. I feel like they're playing unbothered, but you really hit the, you hit the, you hit it on the head for them. Okay, you tapped into them. They're mad. Okay, they feel like you know you're you're causing some type of uh, separation between them and their lover, or you know they don't understand the separation between you and and them. Okay. I'm hearing like what's the beef or what's the problem? They know what the problem is, Virgo. Yeah. They know what it is. You ain't dumb, and neither are they. Okay, so yeah, let them sit there. They thought they was uh, one step ahead of you, but it seems like they're a lot more behind the game than they actually thought. You're a leader, okay? You're not a magician, period. Okay, yeah, somebody having a hard time taking that look in the mirror, but baby, they about to be forced to see it eye to eye now. Okay, somebody was told to stop. Somebody was at all costs with it. Virgo, yeah, it's about to play with them. It's about to play with their head, play with their heart. That's why playing with that black energy, it opens portals, okay, for you to be reached by, by, by real demons and devils. And somebody about to get that and feel that. They scared to go to sleep at night, okay? It could be a Taurus or a Capricorn or a Virgo. It could be any sign here. Any sign, any sign at all, okay? Okay, let's keep it rocking here. Who else did we miss? We got air signs. How does the air sign feel about the Virgo? Keep it real. Keep it a buck. Keep it 100. Maybe that's why they like you. Okay. How does the air sign Gemini, Libra, Aquarius feel about the Virgo? How does the air sign Gemini, Libra, Aquarius feel about the Virgo? How does the air sign Gemini, Libra, Aquarius feel about the Virgo. Somebody could be knocking on your door or call, calling you very unexpected here. Feel like they're gonna show up with something small, like a small offer. Like, here's a rose I found out the corner of the street. It has thorns in it. Oh my gosh. Okay. Kind of reminds me of that episode. Remember with when that dude on 90 Day Fiance? Remember when he um 
he he had picked her like the flowers off the side of the road and then he had, had the little love note and she read the love note and in the love note it was a bunch of you know please don't do this please don't do that i'm trying to make our household more peaceful or whatever she was like i thought you were gonna say something sweet and in his eyes he thought it was sweet <laughs> he thought it was a kind gesture okay but how does the air sign feel about the um virgo i'm also getting that all you have to do is ask or something like that or this person they don't mind helping you they want to help you virgo just so you know that like don't feel uncomfortable to ask or don't be don't feel uncomfortable to say what's going on like somebody's very fair if this is a judge or if this is somebody's mother your baby mother baby father okay your boss i feel like you know if you need to ask for a time off or you need to ask for extension something like that somebody is more than willing um to to hear you out or help you here okay you may feel like they don't want to or whatever but i'm not getting that but how does the air sign truly feel about the virgo gemini libra aquarius how does the air sign feel about the virgo here okay yeah release i feel like they want to see they want to help you they may not have much to give but this is what they're doing here okay i definitely feel like as well you know virgo if this is you giving to an air sign you want them to grow up you want them to do things for them uh, uh, on their own okay or maybe you just simply want this person to know that you have their back okay they don't have to feel so guarded around you so jaded around you or this is this gemini libra aquarius but i'm also hearing that about a gemini okay like they may not have much but here they are they're gonna give that to you or it could be aquarius here okay i feel like you know somebody like i got your back i might not have much to offer or i'm only one man doing all that i can okay so somebody sees that okay so they do want to give you a little piece or a little token or they want to share the love here they want you to know like i still got your back i embrace you okay yeah they want to come together with you they want to help you be able to create something this air sign or they're thinking about that they're thinking about you know how you used to fight for them how you rode for them okay september 5th could be significant here september uh, 2nd as well i'm also getting 21 somebody could be 21 or 421 could be significant here okay i'm also getting something about a teenager here somebody could be uh, turning the age of 13 to 15 okay so somebody wants to see your dreams come true or they really want to see you happy. They want to see you in love or they want to see you with somebody. They just want to see you fulfilled here. They really would like the fighting to stop or they really want you know to feel like you know you got somebody that has your back even though they might ha might not have much to offer here. Okay. But yeah, believe in, in succeed. That's what they want. They want you to know that you can do anything in the world. It's all about the way that you go about it. Or that's what they're realizing. Like, damn, I didn't have to go that way. Okay, the month of six is going to be very, very significant. Okay, so I'm getting a Gemini here. Okay. Yeah, I feel like you're trying to find balance. You're trying to find peace. They see that. Okay, they want to help you. They still have your back okay point blank period but right now i do see that somebody's in a state of you know you know a state of ter turmoil or they're in their head they're thinking all over the place but god got you okay somebody could be born in the 90s or like i said somebody's listening to the 90s or somebody's listening to somebody very young and immature especially when it comes to you okay somebody also could be born in 88 okay Somebody could be born in, in uh, uh, March of 1988. Okay, so there seems to be some type of war or battle here. I feel like somebody is like, I don't want to have to choose in between the two or don't put me in the middle of this. Okay, but I feel like, you know, a lesson learned. I feel like somebody is speaking something or they're teaching something. Okay, it seems like Virgo, you're an advocate or somebody's playing the devil's advocate. Okay, or Virgo, you know, you're... you're um. It's like your word is bond. Like somebody is like, fuck, but Virgo is right. Okay. Like somebody else is trying to, you know, be controlling or, you know, be the dictator, the leader. And then you have Virgo who's just doing this by like, if you want to come in here and listen, sit down and listen. Here we are. Okay. So I feel like Virgo, something about your voice or your speech pattern, something is changing. Somebody sees that they see the growth in you. Okay. They like, I got you. Okay. 
Just keep your head held high or trust this situation. Everything's going to work out. I'm also getting somebody could be playing the middleman here, Virgo. Okay, so it's opening up a line of communication here. Okay, or they're going back and they're saying all of the right things. This is not somebody that's going back saying, oh, they said this, they said that. This is somebody that's actually working in your favor. It's a Gemini here, okay? So that's the message that I have for you guys today, Virgo. I hope that it helps someone. I feel like a lot of you guys are clearing your throat chakra, so don't feel disappointed in yourself if you said some things that needed to come out, like word vomit. It is what it is, okay? That's a part of the upgrade. That's a part of the new phase when it comes to your gifts being enhanced here. So keep that in mind, okay? Um, let's get one spiritual as fuck message for the Virgo before we get out of here. I love you guys. Have a beautiful night. Big, beautiful blessings to the big bird, not the little one, okay? It says, be yourself, even if you're crazy. Stop worrying about normal ass, nothing ass, people judging your cool, weird ass, okay? For those of you guys that's a part of the Ra 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 the gang, do not forget to uh, type in my comment box, Proud member of the Weirdo Society. Yes, y'all know what time it is. Proud member of the Weirdo Society. Go ahead and drop that in the comments. Claim your reading, claim your love, claim your life, claim your presence. Let it be known your character speaks for itself, okay? Not lifestyle character, okay? So it says there'll be none of that today. Anytime you free yourself wearing... Anytime you feel yourself worrying about any of those asses, remember who you got to wake up to every morning. You, baby, you. Your job is to make sure you're good on your own terms. Check in with what you really care about and, what, and make sure you're living up to that, not to what all those asses out there may be thinking. Yeah, don't let nobody make you think less than or make you think otherwise when God is blessing you and God is telling you, when God is approving you, when God is stamping it. Even if God is saying no, always know that there's something better in store. If he's telling you to go if he's telling you to move forward if he's telling you to walk through it so you can get to it that's all you got to do but just know that no matter where he takes you and who he takes you to it's not the who or what it's the why and it's always about making you stronger never to break you it's always to get you to where you're supposed to be it's to align you with your purpose with your destiny with your soul with your mind with your peace your prosperity your happiness you only you only as good as you think you are you only will re receive as much as you think you deserve to be blessed with so keep that in mind virgo big big blessings beautiful blessings i will see you guys next time do not forget to hit that like button for your girl have a beautiful night if you want to purchase a personal use that description box down below use the number in the text in the use the number in the description box send me a text message i love you guys have a beautiful night bye bye